all right guys so i know a lot of you guys have been asking me hey it's dark account out of the meta however in this video i want to talk about one of the teams that you guys can definitely use right now for the meta utilizing dark account cookie and it is actually going to be really really good against speed comps as well so here we go let me show you guys the team right now and that's going to be dark account financier right here uh, we got Black Pearl, Captain Caviar, as well as Cream Unicorn. So going over the toppings real quick, we are going to have Finis here with 5 of this Swift Chocolate, going with that 17.3% cooldown at least in order to have that 3 second start. All right, this is going to be important because if you don't, then the cooldown is going to be all messed up. So I do recommend you guys to go with at least 17.3% cooldown. Next one is going to be our Dark Cow. Dark Cow is also very important with the cooldown here, guys. Four second start is needed in order to utilize Dark Cow right after Financier. And that is going to be 6.3% cooldown at least. And then rest of them focusing on that damage resist. And if you have extra substats for attack and crit percentage, that will also help as well. Next one moving on is going to be our Captain Caviar. It's going to be similar to how I shared with you guys last time. Except instead of using the 5 of the Syrian Raspberry, we are going with 3 Syrian Raspberry, 2 Solid Almond in order to have that extra damage resist. The cooldown has to be at least 7% in order to utilize his skill for that uh, timing uh, with Black Pearl as well as the uh, bonus timer. Uh, so I do recommend that. Uh, and then the damage resist, uh, the higher it is, the better it's going to be. And extra substats on the attack and crit will also help. Next one is going to be Black Pearl. Black Pearl is a little bit hard on this one. Um, I do recommend you guys to go with full Swift Chocolate if you guys can. If you guys can't, uh, then I do recommend you guys switching it out with the full Solid Almond build with some good cooldown. However, if you don't have that and you know you guys are iffy with both of them then i do recommend going with something like three swift chocolate two solid almond focusing on their damage resist and some extra cooldown however what, the more and more cooldown you have the higher and higher chance that black pro is going to be able to use your skill right at that one minute mark so uh you guys can see i did sacrifice a little bit on the damage resist here in order to use uh a better cooldown topping and then the last one is going to be our cream unicorn here as you guys can see it's going to be the five of the juicy apple jelly just like before uh focusing on that cooldown as well as the damage resist if you don't have this ability then definitely just go with a full sort of chocolate uh if you have around like 10 percent uh that's actually really really good as well so you guys can go with the mixture uh but i am going with the full juicy apple jelly next one is going to be our treasures you can see right here feather scroll as well as the jelly watch so let me go and show you guys this team in action against some of the speed comps as well as some of the other comps inside of the arena and show you guys how good it is. All right, guys, so here we go. We got some speed comp here or a variation of a speed comp. The moment I say speed comp, guys, just keep in mind it's going to be caramel arrow with the enchanted robe. All right, so here we go. Let's go into the battle and see how well we do. All right, here we go. And the reason why this team is actually really, really good against a quote-unquote speed comp is because of the fact that, you know, Caramel Arrow is the main damage dealer of their team, right? However, with this team, you know, Dark Cacao is able to still put injury on Caramel Arrow, all right? Because Caramel Arrow can't be immune to injury, although she is uh, immune to damage or any of the debuffs. Captain Caviar is also able to do damage uh, because of the splash damage. And also, Black Pearl is able to also do damage with her, you know, damage based off of max HP. As you guys can see, with Black Pearl doing most damage, and we have the Captain Caviar uh, doing a lot of damage as well. And Dark Cow really is going to provide a debuff in order to uh, not only take less damage, but also deal more damage as well with the defense reduction. So you can see a really, really good combo right here. All right, guys. So a different comp here. Very interesting. We got an Enchanted Robe, a Monocle, as well as a Scroll here with the Herb and a Caramel Arrow. Probably going to be a Financier here. And uh, I don't know who this is going to be. So let's go into this battle and see how well we do. And it's going to be an Eclair. Very interesting team here. Uh, definitely going to be able to target Caramel Arrow in this case because we do have two tanks and three of the lowest HP are going to be Caramel, uh, Eclair, and the Herb. So Captain Caviar will be targeting them instead. Focus targeting right there and Caramel is going to die there even before she's able to do anything. So very good against this comp as well just because of the fact that we don't need to worry about the front two tanks. Captain Caviar is just going to straight up just blast 
his missiles at them or torpedoes at them. So 2.7 million damage coming out from Black Pearl, 1.7 million damage coming out from our Captain Caviar. All right, guys, a different team right here. We do have a single tank comp here. So we're going to go against uh, this comp and see how well we do with our uh, comp here with the Dark account. All right, here we go. And they have Eclair, uh, Captain Caviar, and the Black Pearl. I don't know how well we are going to do, but let's see how... <laughs> let's just see. Uh, we have to be able to kill that uh, Captain Caviar, if anything. Hopefully. Nope. Caviar is very low right there. Come on, Captain. There we go. And our frontline tank's just all dead, and we are done. So kind of weak against a burst team right there. They do definitely have a very, very high spec right there. Five of the Ascension on Captain Caviar and five Ascension on Eclair. Uh, but our Captain Caviar definitely did a lot of damage right there against this team. But against a burst team, uh, going to be a bit weaker than uh, other comps. All right, guys, another team here, except this time around, they do have the Cream Unicorn instead of the Herb. And they are using the Monocle and the Enchanted Robe. So let's see how well we do. And they do have a Frost Queen this time around. Uh, once again, good thing about Captain Caviar is that Captain Caviar does provide 20% debuff resist, allowing us to get out of the freeze a lot faster, taking less damage from Frost Queen as well. So that is a very, very good thing. And also Frost Queen in general, if you do not have full solid almon, very, very squishy. And you see that, you know, Captain Caviar does focus target Frost Queen. Uh, as well as Eclair and the Cream Unicorn. So she kind of disappeared before she was able to even do anything right there, guys. So right there, 2.2 million damage from Black Pearl and 1.5 million damage from our Captain Caviar. All right, guys, another team right here. This is going to be another team that you probably want to go up against when you guys are using this team just because we do see that there's two tanks. And that means that Captain Caviar is definitely going to just be able to target, a uh, focus target Caviar Arrow as well as Cream Unicorn and this one guy right here looking like a vampire but we'll see how it goes here we go and it is a vampire so definitely going to be something that you should go up against here all right and we'll be able to focus target so you can see that caramel arrows hp is already very very low just because of the injury and then also we're focused targeting her with captain caviar we should be able to kill her here and should be able to yep you blasted her right there with the torpedoes and even though Captain Caviar dies once, you know, Feather brings him back and we should be good, right? So something like that, definitely you should use Captain Caviar just because you're able to really focus target once again, the back line right there, uh, getting rid of Camera Arrow before she's even able to, you know, uh, jump back at our team, uh, doing the massive amount of damage at the end. And then also being able to focus target uh, Cream Unicorn is also really, really good. All right, so there you guys go. Two, almost 2 million damage coming out from Captain Caviar as well as 2.1 million damage coming out from Black Pearl Cookie. Alright guys, so definitely a team you guys can utilize right now with Dark Cow. Dark Cow is not out of the meta guys. Injury is still a very, very, very uh, strong debuff. And again, something like Caramel Arrow or even something like anyone who is really immune to uh, debuffs right now only other than uh, Caramel Arrow is going to be Madeline. But against those kind of comps too, it's very, very good just because of the fact that you're able to chip away at the HP without having to do extra damage, all right? So uh, you're getting that bonus already. So it's a very strong combo with something like Captain Caviar or even Espresso if you guys want to use Espresso instead of Captain Caviar here. Uh, so definitely going to be something that you guys can utilize right now for the arena. Anyways, guys, just wanted to share that with you guys just to show you guys that Dark Cow is not dead. Dark Cow is not gone. He's still going to be very, very strong inside of the arena. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again. And I'll see you guys all on the next one.